do have an update on a report we first brought you two summers ago. It had to do with what seemed like a mystery. Some mid-state bees were suddenly producing a lot more honey. Well, now we've learned another interesting fact about that honey. Seth Kaplan shared the story then, and he joins us now tonight with his update. Seth. Valerie and Alicia, it turned out to be apparently a partnership between these two insects, honeybees, which most of us recognize are a good thing, and spotted lanternflies, which are generally a pest. But these guys were helping these guys produce more honey. Usually we have two buckets and they're filled maybe up to here. Well, this year we have had four buckets. That was Kay Walters, a hobbyist beekeeper, excited to share all this extra honey with family and friends. This was Gary Carnes, a professional beekeeper. He said spotted lanternflies, of all things, were causing the bumper honey crop. Their excrement is food for the bees. But because it's that, rather than nectar from flowers, he said he couldn't sell the darker honey as pure honey. Plus, I don't like the flavor. This is Gary Carnes now at last week's farm show. One thing hasn't changed. In my opinion, it tastes like a smoky maple or a burnt bacon, and it stays in your mouth instead of Five seconds, it stays in your mouth for 60 seconds. Some people love it. I'm not one of them. And he still won't sell it. Myself as a beekeeper, I don't want that mixed with my regular honey. But experts like him have learned something interesting about the lanternfly infused honey. It's very high in antioxidants, even more than minutia honey. In other words, the honey people like Kay Walters share for free is more healthy by that measure than the most expensive honey in the world. Gary's reaction shocked me. I didn't think the thing was good for anything. Kay's reaction. The fact that they're saying it's even better for you. I mean, honey's good for you anyway. So, I mean, that's just icing on the cake. She too hasn't changed her opinion of it. You know, I didn't think there was anything wrong with it to start out with. Everybody that we shared ours with always asked for more. Now, the beekeeper seems to not like it but your normal consumer thinks it tastes great. Yeah. One man's junk's another man's treasure. That's for sure. Well, hey, like it or not, this might be all a, a temporary thing. As we told you this past summer, there is some evidence lanternfly populations themselves peak after a few years in any given spot, then begin, begin dwindling. So Alicia and Valerie, as lanternflies go, so too lanternfly infused honey might go. All right. So interesting as always. Thank you, Seth.